Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I got another haul video for you guys. You know, I love doing my hauls every single month and you guys love them as well. I always say get a cup of tea and get yourself comfortable. I'm gonna give you that moment. I've got a lot here to show you and I'm very excited. I've got shoes, I've got clothes, I've got beauty bits as well and makeup, which I don't show regularly. So first things first, I bought these um, cat sandals or they're like slipper shoes and they're from a shop called Call It Spring which is actually basically Aldo but a cheaper version of Aldo. To be totally honest it's really hard to walk around in heels all the time so um, slip-on shoes are one of my faves so that's those and uh, clearly I'm in comfy mode but I also finally bought myself a pair of Converse's. Um, some of you guys who have been watching me long enough know that I absolutely detest my feet. Not because they're like ugly or anything, but they're really long. I've got really long, slim boat feet and I'm a size 8, UK size 8, which is a US size 10 and a half. For some of you say that's not big. And I've always struggled when it comes to footwear and I only own one pair of trainers because, you know, trainers just make me look like this this little person with little legs in like these big shoes can you get that visual right and i just hated the way i looked you know with my feet but anyway another story these are some nice converses <laughs> and what i liked about these versus like um your standard converse is that they're they're a bit slimmer they're more of the plimp sole style than the, the classic style and that's what they look like but they're really nice i'd wear them with skinny jeans and means I can wear some comfy shoes without looking like a boat foot. So moving away from comfortable to glamorous, these are my Steve Madden heels, which I bought to go to the um, to a movie premiere. And I really didn't want to spend a lot of money, but um, and like go and buy designer shoes or anything like that. And I thought these were nice to add. These are very sparkle, sparkle. I love my sparkle. I know it's not the kind of thing you would wear every day. But I know for like special occasions and if you're wearing plain items, you want to go ahead and go overboard with the accessories. Look at them, how cute are they? And I love the like ankle strap as well. And they're really comfortable, extremely comfortable. I wore them the whole night, didn't need to put flats on or anything. And yeah, they're really high though, but I love them, they're gorgeous. Sticking with sandals, I bought another pair from Topshop. And the reason I bought these was because I had the Primark pair in black and they're so uncomfortable that they're the most they were 12 pounds they're cheap but they're really really uncomfortable to wear so i bought another pair um that are quite a bit more expensive these are 62 pounds with the expectation that they'll be a lot more comfortable so far they are i've worn them once and they are more comfortable and i really like the design i think they're really elegant the heel's not too high and again the ankle strap is looking gorgeous. Sticking with Topshop, I bought this um, jumper. It's like a crop jumper, which I really like. I love the colour blue on me now. I never used to like blue on me. But right now, like with the right blue, it does really work on me. And yeah, I'm liking it. And do you know what's really weird? I'm already excited for autumn. I'm just over summer, like, oh, summer, woohoo. No, 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 I want autumn to come now. Come on, autumn, so I can, like, layer and wear, like, jumpers and cosy things. I want cosy things again. Is it just me? No, I bet it's not just me. I'm sure some of you guys agree. Like, summer is overrated. <laughs> okay, so, um, again, for that um, premiere, movie premiere that I went to, I bought um, this beautiful dress, beautiful dress, because I was contemplating, you know, going and spending a lot of money on like a designer dress or something like that. And I was just like, do you know what's the point? I may only wear like a really extravagant dress only once. So instead I went to Topshop, lovely Topshop, and I bought this beautiful cobalt blue bodycon dress, maxi dress. And it's got like lovely shoulders. I'm sorry, this dress is too long to show, but I will link a little playlist um, which will show you me wearing this dress if you want to see it. I love it, it's beautiful, and I would actually wear it again for sure. So, um, and it was only 50 pounds versus spending, you know, 200 pounds or 300 pounds on a dress. Ain't nobody got time for that. So sticking with like the whole split theme, I don't know why I'm really liking a bit of the split, it's kind of sexy but classy at the same time. Um, I bought this, um, it's like a midi, midi skirt 
um, and it's got this gorgeous split just down the side. So I went online to Shein side again this month and I'm really liking that online store and I love online stores especially if they've got free shipping. I bought more items from them, I love them, their style is really unique and the stuff you find online isn't like the stuff you find in stores. So, so first things first I bought this dress and it's just a long square dress and um, this is not doing any favours to it on the camera for some reason, you need to see it on, it's beautiful, it's a lovely material and it just fits, you know, just fits your body really well without being clingy, um, perfect for my body shape I say, and that's what that looks like there. This top here, um, it's a, oh, you can't tell because it's lacy, it's a beautiful top. It's a, a beautiful lacy hangy top. I wore it and everyone was like, oh, that's such a nice top, that's such a nice top. Got a lot of compliments on this top. And that's also from She Inside. People have also asked me a bit about the sizing from the website. I will say that it runs quite small. I get everything in a medium or a large. If it's on the bottom half, I go for a large because I think their models or clothes models are really quite small. So yeah. So I got this in the medium. I bought these two skirts and I'm a bit sad about them because they're a bit small on me. I did get a medium, but they are really small. I really wanted a crochet skirt, which had like this, like a lower layer, just like that. It's beautiful, but it's a bit short for me. I could probably get away with it, but I wanted it to be like a midi skirt length and it's more of a mini skirt, but I thought I'll show it to you guys anyway. This is my favorite, my favorite piece is this blazer. I love this blazer, ooh, like look, it's like making me look reflective right now, isn't it? I love this blazer, that's all I have to say. It's just a beautiful fit. Um, you might not be able to see the texture, but it's like a, a woven fabric. Um, it's got kind of shoulder pads, but not too much. It also has this zip section as well, just so you could take off the bottom half if you wanted it to be a crop jacket. It's gorgeous i love this jacket and then i bought these short shorts again why because i love my white pair so much that i bought a pair in um peach and i bought a size medium for those who've asked about the sizing um and what it is it's like an asymmetrical pair of shorts that look like a skirt from the front but from the back it's short they're really cute, I love them. So guys, this is my Just Fab pick for um, August. You guys know I do the monthly subscription to Just Fab. And this is what I got, this is what I chose. It's just a nice big bag. I love big bags because you can always put lots of stuff in it. They're great for holidays. They're great if you're just wanting to throw loads of things in. I will say it doesn't have like a zip area in, so be careful when you're carrying it. But again, if you're looking for one of those big bags, it just has everything in that's exactly what you get with something like this so i finally went to brandy melvin i've really wanted to go to brandy melvin i've heard a lot about it on the youtube and i bought this necklace i love the necklace i love silver and i love triangles so yeah it's a really cool necklace like that i don't know if you can see that there and that was nine pounds. I will say I do think the store's a little bit overrated from all the like hoo-ha I heard about it. And I think they're a little bit overpriced for what they're selling. They do have some really nice pieces that I think are quite unique to them. But you know, in terms of material, I'm not really impressed. Um, so I bought this vest, which looks already a bit crusty because it's been worn once and there's makeup on it. But, um, so I'm gonna hide the makeup bits. I'm bad. So this vest, um, it's really nice. It's a really soft fabric and it's £12. £12 for a vest is a bit hmm, but it is nice. It's lovely. It's super soft. I've noticed everything in there is super soft, right? Which is really cool. And um, it's just a nice fit and shape to be honest grabs you in all the right places and I bought this black skirt as well um I know it looks really boring but it fit really well and that's why I picked it up and it's kind of meant to be creased um as you can see kind of looks like skorts but it's not it's a skirt and this was 30 pounds again I think a bit expensive but it will do so this is a great thing that I got from there it was this dress 
you have to see this dress on i'm going to be doing a back to school lookbook like probably the next video so you'll see all of a lot of this stuff on in that video but um this dress is really really nice i love the pattern on it so it fits beautifully it's like really loose and flirty at the bottom and then it's got this kind of backless section as well and it's crossover from asos i bought this asymmetrical cobalt blue skirt you can tell blue is becoming one of my favorite colors um and that's what that looks like fits beautifully lovely fabric and it wasn't too expensive this was 22 pounds and it's a really nice fabric river island i never go into river island but i just walked in one day um like i think it was like four days ago actually and i found this jumper or sweater as some may call it and i know it looks like a really plain sweater whatever but bam look at the back it's open at the back and that would look really cute with like a little bandeau top inside or some jeans and i went to american apparel i don't go into american apparel regularly because they're so expensive <laughs> but um i really wanted some riding pants i really think riding pants are an essential like in everyone's wardrobe so i bought a pair in the blue um and i thought i wouldn't get the black because i've got the black um leggings already and um, the disco pants but what i will definitely say is that my disco pants I have one pair they have lasted me for over two years that's how good it is so you spend the 70 pounds or whatever but you never need to buy them again so next is this um throw over kimono type thing which is from h&m this is 14.99 really nice see-through you guys know i love my like see-through throw overs like it's just me it's like the hippie in me the hippie lady so guys for the first time ever i went to space and k to buy some items and i've never really bought well, i've never bought anything from there before i wasn't ever sure on what to buy based on like some of the reviews from other people on youtube like people people like viviana does makeup it kind of makes you feel like going to these stores to get some of these products that are talked about that are actually um a bit more pricey but maybe better in quality you know that is to be discussed at a later date but i must say that um i did get some amazing things from there i did have a couple of items sent to me as well um from a pr company so just to let you guys um know that because i ain't buying all of this stuff you know first of all i bought this product from african botanics and it's um this line that is made from marula oil which is from south africa and supposedly the nut falls from the trees and the ladies from this local village um diffuse these nuts and work on them and make the beautiful products and i must say that they smell absolutely divine amazing like amazing so um this is the um mug scrub and i love it i've used it twice already and that's what it looks like it's like a whipped um oh, a whipped butter smells divine like for those of you who know i like smelling great before i go to bed so that's the pure oil marula oil also a body balm but i haven't used the body balm um yet but that's probably for like tough areas like the um, elbows and the dry bits you know the bits that get very ashy get the bum so i also bought some nail polishes from there and these are from the Leighton denny um expert nails collection and i must say that they dry super fast those are the ones that i'm wearing now and they're really really thick and this is um the it's called harris and show off and you can combine them to make like two colors okay so this is the stuff that i want to rave about i didn't know about kevin aquan maybe i'm late but i didn't know about Ke kevin aquan until um as i said um anna from viviana does makeup said told me about it so i i got um four of the lipsticks and these are the matte lipsticks i am wearing persistence on my lips now um which looks like that and it's like a, a mauve a beautiful beautiful mauve it's so so gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful it like rubs on like a dream and the color collection is really really nice i have a blog post going up about it because it's just that good ladies and gentlemen boys and girls the concealer is no joke like the concealer is oh this isn't a review but i also bought the concealer if you would like a concealer review in another video please let me know in the comments because i don't want to get excited about it <laughs> the concealer is just amazing it's so thick 
would last forever and the color is like a beautiful it's so much warmer and richer than i always use mac concealer which sometimes can look and have a bit of a white cast there is no white cast on this this is warm this is rich this is like the glow of the sun and i'm wearing it on my face now also wanted to show you from by terry it's the hyaluronic blush and um it's in the blush what's the color called blush berry i love it so it's a cream blush um it's really nice i think this is like the darkest they have and it's like iridescent you guys also know i love misguided um yeah misguided is just so cheap and cheerful that you can't not buy anything from there um you guys saw this in my last video this is my dress from misguided it is six pounds 99 so for my american folk you're looking at about ten dollars for the dress okay now it's not the most amazing quality or anything but for school, this is the kind of thing you can just throw on, throw in the wash like, you know, 20 times, 30 times. And I think it will do all right, to be honest with you. And then this dress, I love this dress. This was 20 pounds, 19 pounds. And it's in this beautiful mint color. Um, mint is so such a flattering color and it's such a feminine color. And that's what it looks like. I look like a ballerina in it. But what I love the most about it is the back. How cute is that back? So I just wanted to show a couple more bits. This necklace is from um, Aldo. It was the necklace that I wore alongside my cobalt blue dress from Topshop to the movie premiere. And it's like fully beaded. Like this is just all beads all over this um, necklace. And I love it. It's a beautiful contrast to a really plain outfit. The French Connection is a store that I rarely go to as well. And I went in during the sale time and I got this beautiful blazer jacket and it's got like sequins and sparkle um, on the back. How beautiful is the back of that? How beautiful is that? I've got some blog posts wearing that as well. So I've decided to do something a little bit different and this is based on the fact that there are some people who are amazing on YouTube. Some really big people, I would call myself like medium size, but some people are much bigger than me and people who are much, much smaller. But it's really hard to like find all these channels. So I've created a playlist and I'm, I'm hoping on doing this monthly um, of just some of my favorite videos from lots of different girls or lots of different channels on YouTube. And I really ask that you kind of watch them, send some love to these people as well, especially the girls who are not massive and huge, but you know, just just go over there and you can get an idea of my taste um, from what I'm watching and a lot of the stuff that I have is because I've been inspired by other people. One of the tops I had I saw Tanya Tells wearing it and my last pair of shoes I saw her in them and I was like I'm gonna get them and um, Barbara, there's Shirley, there's so many other people so make sure you check them out and send some love and if there are any other channels you would wish to recommend then definitely let me know um, like in the comments and stuff and maybe I might find all these new and amazing channels that I've never seen before. So guys if you're not subscribed already make sure you do and don't forget to check out like my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram and my blog Moments of Style where you get to see all of this clothing. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.